In this video tutorial, we will look at the Level 3 Advanced Database. Compared with the introductory Level 1 and 2 databases, the Advanced Level 3 database contains detailed information of nearly 4,000 materials and 230 generic manufacturing processes. So let's open CS EDUPAC. The more advanced databases, including Level 3, are here on the right. The home page in this level is very similar to that of Level 1 and Level 2. In the Material Universe table, we are able to select from different subsets of materials. Here, by default, the All Materials subset is selected. This record subset contains all the major materials as well as materials that are not commonly used by engineers, such as fibres and particulates, or hybrids like foams, honeycombs, or less common other natural materials. The All Bulk Materials subset provides access to virtually all the structural engineering materials available for purchase. Then we have the possibility to select other subsets, for example, the Core Materials subset includes materials that are commonly used in lightweight sandwich structures. This includes materials such as foams and honeycombs. The Magnetic Materials subset includes magnetic materials from the Metals and Alloys Materials class, but also magnetic materials from other classes. For now, let's select All Materials. In order to view a material record, we first need to find the material using the tree structure. Here, we are going to browse to a grade of wrought aluminum used in the aerospace industry. We will choose the 7000 series and finally the aluminum 7075 in the T6 condition. Another way to find this material is to use search and instantly we have our result. Looking at the record itself, it looks very similar to a level 1 and level 2 record, except that we don't have the record images. First, we have access to the general properties of the material, including the relevant standard names and numbers, and typical uses. We then have access to composition, followed by price and physical properties. In the mechanical properties, a fatigue strength model is included, where you can enter the stress ratio and the number of cycles. After that, we have impact and fracture properties, thermal, electrical, magnetic, optical, aesthetic and acoustic properties. The critical materials risk, processing properties and durability data are listed here. The corrosion resistance and environmental properties, such as recycling and end of life, are listed in the end. At the bottom of the record, we have access to further information, including standards with similar compositions. Finally, in the same way as Level 1 and 2, we have links to the process universe, producers, reference and shape that are relevant to this material. In the following video tutorials, you can see how to use the different advanced databases and tools available in CS EDUPAC. 